February 1944, Allied bombers strike at the heart of Nazi Germany. Night after night, tons of explosives are dropped across the Rhine, making way for the liberation of war-torn Europe. But on the night of 21 January, one lone American C-47 transport wings its way into hostile territory with a special payload. Pilot to Carrington, pilot to Carrington. Carrington here. Two minutes to target. Now it's going to get a little rougher, so you'll be ready to dump your load and we'll get out of here in a hurry. I'll be ready, sir. We're just going to wake him up to what's going on, huh? <laughs>
Oh, look, lady. Look, I'm a... Oh, 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 I, I, I fell out of an airplane. Oh, thank heaven you came to me. It goes badly for the prisoners these days. You mean you'll help me? Of course I will. I'm not one of them. Oh, wonderful. But who are you? Baroness Huffman, but we will talk about that later. Now you must hide. Have three men search the grounds immediately. The rest of you, come with me. So was I, my hundred uh, <laughs> All right. Now go ahead and you open the trap door. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Gee, it's kind of dark down there. But there's the light switch. Now go on. Hurry. I'm sorry, Baroness, but we must search the chateau. Why? What do you expect to find? We're looking for an American flyer here who has parachuted over Ludwigshafen. We have an American flyer here, Herr Verfolg, who has parachuted over Ludwigshafen. Search anywhere? But this is ridiculous. Now, why would I want to hide an American flyer? I'm sorry, Baroness. Of course, you are about suspicion, but we must make sure I'm only doing my duty. I assure you, I have nothing to hide. Of course not a lovely woman like you. I can assure you, Baroness, I would horsewhip anyone who would dare to insinuate anything. Ich stehe zu Ihrer Verfügung, Frau Baronin. Was immer Sie wünschen, Ihr Wunsch ist recht. Baroness, I mean to command. Ask me anything, anything, and it shall be done. Uh, you are very kind, Major. Please, call me Eric. All right. Alex? We have made a thorough search, Major. There is no one in the house. Very good, grinning. Dismiss. Zeke! Hi! Zeke! Hi! Hey! Hey! Up, Titan! Einstein! 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 Thousand pardons, Baroness. Now are you satisfied, Avery? Only that you are alone here in the house, beautiful lady. And one can never tell what some mad dog of a parachutist might do. Oh, really, Major? Ah, 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 ah. Eric? Oh, really, Eric? I assure you I'm going to be quite safe here. And I shall make it my business to see that you remain safe. It will indeed be a pleasure to come back often and make sure that the American flyer has not doubled back to trouble you. Baroness, you shall remain in my memory forever. Bis wir uns wiedersehen, Frau Baronin. Sie bleiben wie immer in meinen Gedanken. Until we meet again. Auf Wiedersehen. Until we meet again. Yes. Ah, that was a delicious dinner. 
Really, Baroness, I don't know how to thank you. Oh, it isn't necessary. Uh, by the way, are you married? Me? Married? No, no, no. Good, good. Are you? No, I'm a widow. Oh, but you must be so tired. You need some sleep. Yes, as a, as a matter of fact, I could use a little sleep. You know what I think I'll do? I think I'll just run into my room there and get a little sleep. No, 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 I'll show you the way. Well, no, I know the way, Baroness. Well, no, no, you mustn't call me Baroness. Call me Marlene. Uh, Marlene. You've got through so much. You must relax. Oh, well, I'm, I'm very relaxed. I'm just very relaxed. <laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll be just fine. You, you don't have to tell me you're so fine. No, I, I will just sit with you until you get sleepy. Sleepy? Well, no, I'm, I'm sleepy right now. As a matter of fact, I, oh boy, dreamland, oh, here I come. You uh, are so tense. You must relax. Tense? Me? Yes. No, 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 I'm not tense. Well, I'm just as relaxed as a kitten. No, uh, I'll go in there. I'll be asleep before I hit that old pillow. <laughs> well, good night. And thanks again, Marlena. Uh, out of Normandy, San Lo falls. Well, I, I just thought I'd take a walk or something. Oh, I kind of like to look around, Marlene. There are spies everywhere. The oh. Germans are very thorough. Oh. Well, my husband's clothes look on you ever since I altered them. Thank you. Uh, Martin. Oh, Marlene, I just can't lay around here doing nothing when there's a war going on. Oh, darling. There you go. Well, we shall make plans for your escape tonight. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I really think we should, Marlene. You know, I left a pile of work on my desk back at the war information office in London. They probably think I'm dead back there. Besides, I just feel uncomfortable being so... Comfortable, you know. February 1945. Roosevelt, Churchill, and Stalin plan to occupy Germany. Remembered. Oh, of course. 
I told you I would return, didn't I? I'm sorry to take so long, but it has been a busy time for the soldiers to throw rocks. The war goes badly. In the West, the Allies have crossed our borders, and in the East, the Russians have done it. Im Westen haben die Alliierten die Grenzen überschritten und im Osten die Russen. Well, why should I bother your pretty little head with tales of war? Alice, Alice, is this an official visit? It's an official excuse, Marlene. Uh, may I call you Marlene? If you wish. The parachutist, remember? Parachutist? What parachutist? Have you forgotten? The night we came to search your chateau? Oh. Yes, he still hasn't been found. Oh, why, well, that has been such a long time ago. He couldn't possibly be still around here. Still, with your safety at stake, I refuse to take any chances. You are the guy, Maybe Kind of shot. I thought that uh, perhaps you and I could uh, search this chateau together. Oh, I'd love to, Eric. But the truth of the matter is that I'm indisposed. <laughs> I've been in bed when you came to the door. Oh, that's too bad. I hope it's nothing serious. No, 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 no. I'll be all right. In a week or two. In a week or two, I'll be at the Russian front by that time. Good. Good. Oh, I mean, what a wonderful opportunity to show you bravery. Wonderful. I can hardly wait. Still, if I stay alive, perhaps we shall see each other again. Oh, perhaps. Until we meet again. <laughs> For the Allies, the Germans are planning to invade England. So you see, darling, it would be madness for you to try to escape now. Oh. Come, come, we go back upstairs. Well, if you don't mind, Marlena, I think I'll just stay down here for a little while. I'd kind of like to get a little sleep. Oh. May 1945, Berlin falls. Tokyo Bay, September 1945. The Empire of Japan surrenders on board the battleship Missouri. Here is the news direct from Berlin. Japan has fallen. What were they saying, Marlena? England has fallen. Oh. What? England has fallen? Oh, my gosh, that's... Oh, that's terrible. Oh, no, I... Oh, I'm... Marlene, I've, I've got to get back now. They'll need every man they can get. Darling! No, no, I've got to... Oh, oh, you could never get through the line. Well, it doesn't matter, Marlene. I, I've got to try. I mean, after, after all, they, they haven't searched the house now for months. And they, they must have forgotten all about me. Oh, Roger, Roger, I can't bear the thought of you being captured. Or even maybe killed. Oh, Marlena, you, you know how grateful I am for everything you've done for me. If it hadn't been for you, I, I might be in prison camp. Oh, darling. Uh, <laughs> You're a wonderful woman, Marlena. It isn't going to be easy leaving you, but I must do my part. You're right. You're right. We'll make plans for your escape tonight. Oh, wonderful. I knew when the time came you'd understand. You get the map, and I go downstairs and I get us a snack. Yeah, fine, fine. Grinning at the butcher shop. Oh, hello, hello, Herr Grinning. This is the Baroness Hoffman. Do you remember during the war when you were a corporal, you came to search my house for the American flyer? Yes, yes, it was a long time ago. Tell me, Herr Grinning, do you still have your uniform? Good. I think this is the best possible route, Marlena. Now, see? From over here, I can make it to the coast of France easily. Mm, I think so. Yeah. Well, I think I'd better leave as soon as possible. Well, at least you're not escaping on an empty stomach. Yeah. 
What's that? It must be them again. Come, oh. come, hurry up. Come, Roger, hurry up. What are our orders, Baroness? Well, simply run through the house, stamp your feet as hard as you can, and shout a lot. <laughs> Very well. Excuse me. Here we are. <laughs> now, now, please do as I ask. Ach, don't. Louder. Ach, don't. We're inside the house. units fly round-the-clock missions over the Russian blockade to West Berlin. I wish I knew. I couldn't understand a word he said. I, I, would you ask him what he said? It might be important. Oh, it's huh? nothing important. All he can think about is gardening. They can answer again to my Darling, darling, you gave me quite a start when I woke up and I didn't find you in bed. Oh, well, it was such a beautiful day, I just had to get out. Why don't we have breakfast on the terrace? Well, can we? Yes. Oh, boy. I, say, you know, Marlena, one of these days you've just got to teach me some German. Gee, I'd give anything to understand what's being said or maybe listen to the radio. But, darling, German is such a detestable language. It's so guttural. And I much rather speak English. Besides, I always translate everything to you. Well, I'd like to translate for myself just once. I mean, it makes me feel silly. I, I, I can't even read a newspaper. Ihre Zeitung, Frau Baronin. Ah, danke. Das Frühstück ist fertig. Oh, heute werden wir da draußen frühstücken. Ja, ja, Frau Baronin, sofort. Oh, good news, darling. The Allies finally driven the Germans out of England. That's about the fifth time they've done it. This darn war just seems to go on forever. Oh, there, there. And that's another thing. There are an awful lot of servants around the house now. 
How do you know one of them won't talk? Any one of them could tell the Gestapo I'm here. Darling, darling, I told you they are all members of the underground posing as servants. Now, come on, you really needn't worry. Who is that Englishman? He's not an Englishman, he's an American. The poor fellow arrived here during the war, and the Baroness hid him from the Nazis. But that was years ago, and the war is over. But he doesn't know. The Baroness is afraid he would leave if he knew. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going to tell him myself. How will you do that? Do you speak English? No. None of us do. The Baroness hires only those who cannot speak English. <laughs> And the Americans cannot speak German. So just um, relax and forget it. At least until the um, fun starts tonight. <laughs> I could use a drink. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, bring in the Herr Carrington and have some drink. She's in Gwarsome for a barnet. What's the matter with her? Who? Who is the Gestapo? She's afraid that they might recognize her and take her away any minute. Not Miller. I'm a, a simple tinker. I uh, fought on the Russian front as an ordinary soldier. Oh, Major, look at us. Don't you remember? Kuni? Of course. <laughs> Klaus? Yeah. Schneider. Schneider, Schneider, Schneider. <laughs> Flago. <laughs> yes, Major, we are all here. Sick! I'll... Sick! But, uh, this is incredible. You're in uniform. The war is over. Not on Thursday nights, Major. <laughs> Not on Thursday... I don't understand. The Baroness, Major. Remember the American flyer? We must not have searched very thoroughly. He was hiding there all the time. <laughs> he was hiding there all the time. <laughs> he, he was hidden beneath the trap door under the very table on which you yourself sat during our search. <laughs> Isn't it funny? It's hilarious. You haven't explained the uniforms? Ah, the American is still in the chateau. He believes the war is still on. <laughs> and the Baroness pays us very well for our weekly visits in these <laughs> uniforms to keep him believing it. Major, you must come with us next week, or the Baroness will be so surprised to see oh, you in your own uniform. <laughs> 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 
That would be a good sport. <laughs> you must tell me more about this America. <laughs> come, come, Major. We will drive over to the tavern, we will have a drink, and we will talk over old times, huh? Yeah. Sick. Hi. Sick. Hi. Sorry, Ava. I, I. Oh boy, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. If I could speak German, we probably have a lot to talk about. Uh, I, I'll, I'll tell the, the Baroness that you want to talk to her as soon as she gets back. Okay? Uh, oh. <laughs> You are carrying this? Shh. Be still. Do not alarm the household. I'm here to help you. Who are you? I'm from the underground. I've come to help you escape. There has been a security leak. The Gestapo knows that you are here and you must leave at once. Leave? Marlena, she, she was arrested as she left the chateau. Arrested? We will do everything to save her. But now the most important thing is to get you back to England. Well, Marlena said this morning that England had been invaded again. True. But the Germans were pushed back into the channel this afternoon. Now listen carefully, we haven't got much time. Here is a map of Western Europe. Now I have marked your escape route most carefully. First, you will board a train here in Ludwigshafen. Ludwigshafen. Then you will cross the French-German border at this point on foot. Right. You will then catch a blue train to Cherbourg on the coast of France, where you will be picked up by a fishing boat. A fishing boat. Oh, gosh, I sure wish I could help Marlena. No one can help her now. Rotten crouts. Mm. Oh, no, nothing personal, you understand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mr. Oh, he left the house. But he never leaves the house. What did you tell him? I simply helped him escape. Escape? Unfortunately, he doesn't know that he's escaped an enemy that doesn't even exist. <laughs> but no harm will come to him. <laughs> what a cruel thing to do. You're a beast. <laughs> Are the Nazis at the house? Muller is on shore here. You don't have to be afraid. He's a criminal. He just made a fool of I, you. I, I can't understand, Eva. Come on, what are you trying to say? Can you speak in English? Hey, English. Can you, can you speak in English? No, I'm, I'm sorry, Eva. I, I'm in an awful hurry. I've, I've got to catch a train. I'm sorry. Goodbye. <laughs>
zum Sportstag meiner Zeitung haben. Ist er? Ist ein Amerikaner, das ist ein Red German. Guten Abend, die Herrschaften. Fahrkarten bitte. Danke, Fahrkarten bitte. Danke, danke. Fahrkarten bitte. Dieser Mann ist ein Amerikaner, er kann nicht German sprechen. Oh, sehr interessant. All I want is his, his ticket. He thinks the war is still on. Oh, please tell him it's over. <laughs> Must be joking, huh? Nein, nein, he thinks the war is still on. Oh, I know it's difficult to believe, but please tell him in English. Uh, Ferdinand, uh, good meal, lad. I'm sorry, but I, I do not speak English. In the other compartment is a gentleman, a traveler. I think he, he speaks English very well. Oh, please bring him. Good, Fräulein, I'll bring him here. Yeah. Oh, danke, danke. Oh. Oh, am I glad you came, Ava. <laughs> I'd give anything to know what you said to get rid of that guy. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Gestapo. What beef? You think I am crazy too? I have a schedule to meet, sir. Followed me, you could have been killed. Those men were not Gestapo. Oh, Gestapo, huh? It's just what I thought. Well, maybe it's just as well you got away too. Anyway, I'm sure glad you're here. This do in Orgno? Huh? Whatever it is you're saying, it's sure beginning to sound awfully good. Find some cover before it starts to rain. Before they send out some troops to look for us. I, uh, I find your story incredible. Now, you, you kept this fella here for, uh, for how long? Four and a half. Almost five years. Well, that's outrageous. Why? Why? You mean you don't know why? Tell me, Colonel, have you ever been in love? Well, are you trying to tell me that you kept this man a, a prisoner for almost five years because you were in love with him? Why, that's utter nonsense. Roger wasn't a prisoner. I didn't keep him locked up. Of course, I wanted him to stay because I was in love with him. But he was very happy here. You realize there's a man out there that doesn't know the war is over? I mean, can't you understand? Don't you know what that means? Of course I understand that. I am the one who didn't tell him. You got everything you want, Captain? Oh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, uh, Carrington, Roger, uh, Lieutenant, uh, U.S. Army. Get in touch with Washington immediately. I want a photograph of Carrington, the full file. We'll run his story in every newspaper in Europe. One more question, Baroness. After the war was over, how did you manage to convince Carrington that it was still going on? Well, I... 
We didn't mean to interrupt you. We, I, trick or treat. Come, son. Our friends, Frau Baronin, entschuldigen. Auf Wiedersehen. Can't that answer your question? And, and now, will you find Roger for my sake? We'll find Roger, not for your sake, but for the sake of this country. Oh, come now, Colonel. My Roger is important to me, but why should anybody else care about him? But don't you understand that your Roger is an American soldier? A man that's a, a fighting machine? A man that's been trained to kill? Roger? Out there is a man who thinks his country's still at war with Germany. Suppose he starts a campaign of sabotage. Who's to stop him? Single-handed, he could blaze a path of destruction across this very nation. Roger? He's a walking time bomb. Roger? Heaven only knows what he's planning this, this very minute. Jumped off the train about here. Now the next stop is Mites. You get a jeep and I'll call MP headquarters at Mites. Yes, sir. direction, but well, it's going to take us months to make it to the coast on foot. Oh, if I only could tell you that the woo is over. It should be a whole lot better if we had one of those. Look at that. Whole motor pool full of transportation and we're walking our feet off. Yeah, yeah. It's his sign is Shanda. Those junkyards ruin the country. Well, I wouldn't give for one of those German-English dictionaries. I'm so glad you made it to mine. Uncle Herman lives here. He speaks English. He will be able to convince you that the war is over. Everything's going to be all right when we get to my uncle. Ava, look! Look! The task is new! Come on, come on. Roger, 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 Oh, oh, no. Everybody in Germany must know what I look like by now. Oh, you've, you've got to leave me, Ava. I, I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I, I don't want you to get hurt. I'm a soldier, and I've got to do what I can before they finish me off. Auf Wiedersehen, and goodbye. <laughs> oh, Roger. Roger, at least stay here until I bring my uncle to explain to you. Huh? Well, I... Do, do blood here. Huh? Do blood here. You, you do want... blood here. You want me to, to wait for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here? Yeah, here. Well, I, I, I don't know what you've got in mind, but if, if it's that important to you, uh... all, all right, all right, I, I'll, I'll stay. I, I'll wait for you here, here. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Achtung! Kommen Sie mal her! Herkommen! Also. Gehen Sie schön! Na, gehen Sie schön! Oder ich nehme Sie mit! Verstehen Sie? Raus! Little Hans was so sad that he cried and cried. But suddenly, 
this beautiful fairy godmother appeared. And she said, Hansjen, I am your beautiful fairy godmother. Why are you crying? And he said, I am crying because I am sad that Germany lost the war. But you yes, said this beautiful fairy godmother, Germany lost the last war, but the next war we're going to win. The Third Reich was defeated only because of the soft and decadent Americans. But the Fourth Reich will be victorious. Today, Germany, tomorrow, the world. Help you, Fraulein? Yes, I'm looking for Herr Professor Erad. Is he in? I'm sorry, but he's busy at the moment teaching his kindergarten class. Oh, it's very important that I talk to him. Please, it's urgent. I will try. Who shall I say is called? T tell him it is Miss Eva, Eva Klanecke. Could you wait in here, please? No, no, Heinrich, how many times must I tell you to throw a grenade overhand like this? Handgenaten werfen! Feuer! Wo? Now you try it once more, Heinrich. Once more. Look, Achtung! Ambush! Come in! Feuer! <laughs> the element of surprise! You wear the prize, were you not, Sergeant? Oh, completely here, Colonel. My entire patrol would have been wiped out. Uh -huh. <laughs> you say, excellently done, man, excellently done. Yes, you will serve your Fuhrer with this great distinction. And what is so important that you have to interrupt our lesson, Sergeant? Herr Colonel has a visitor. A Fräulein Eva Kleinecke, she says that she is your niece. Eva Kleinecke? I've not seen her since she was a baby. Well, it is almost a children's playtime. Anyway, let them go out and practice with the machine gun, yeah? Yeah, well, Achtung, Kinder. Well, that's March. Eins, zwei, eins, zwei. I need to understand. Eins, zwei, eins, zwei, eins, zwei, eins, zwei, eins, zwei, eins, zwei. Your permission, my Fuhrer.
She has gone, Herr Colonel. Yes, but she will be back soon. And with an American army officer. Lieb Gott, I knew we should have gone to Argentina. No, relax, Sergeant. This is a special case. This one does not know the war is over. Ah, uh, Herr Colonel pulls my leg, yeah? No. What will you do with him? Remember those interrogations, Sergeant. The blackjacks, the whips. Ah, those were the days. The Colonel is going to interrogate him? Well, just to keep my hand in. You know, one loses the finer touch if, if one does not have someone to practice on. I still think we should have come to Argentina. <laughs> Don't you think it would be better if I were with him? Your uncle knows what is best for Alain Kleinecker. I suppose so. What's, what's going on? Where's huh? your uncle? Uh, come and hear me a bit. Uh, huh? Yeah, here. Lady here, huh? Roger? Don't do anything foolish, Lieutenant. These are Gestapo headquarters. There is no escape. Huh? Who are you? Eva's uncle, SS Colonel Hermann Erhard. What? Your note said you were with the underground. <laughs> you Americans are so naive. Sit down. Well, is Eva a Nazi too? Eva? <laughs> she's even more naive than you are. Oh, I'm glad she's not mixed up in this. Now, Lieutenant, you will answer my questions. 
According to the Geneva Convention, all I have to give you is my name, rank, and serial number. Well, that is my first question. What? Your name, rank, and serial number. Oh, oh, of course. Uh, Carrington, Roger. Lieutenant, United States Army. Serial number 06719... No, oh, no, wait a minute. 06791. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, six... Isn't that funny? It's been so long, I forgot. <laughs> well, we have ways to make you remember. No, 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 really. I've been hiding so long, I really forgot. So, I want the name of the person who hid you, Lieutenant. Why, so you can torture her, too? Come now, Lieutenant, for the last time, who hid you? You'll never make me talk. Never. Soon you will be begging to talk, Lieutenant. <laughs> you have relatives in Milwaukee, perhaps. Well, not, not in Milwaukee proper, but I do have a cousin who lives... Oh, no. No, no, no. You're not going to trick me like that. For the last time, Lieutenant, who hid you? Carrington, Roger, Lieutenant, United States Army, serial number 06719. But, no, 91. No. Well, I, I think it's 191. It's, uh, no, let me see. Isn't that the craziest thing I've been so? No. 06719. Oh. Oh. Nothing to worry you, Fraulein. Sometimes the Colonel gets a little enthusiastic. Uh, Colonel? I beg your pardon. I mean, Professor. Oh. All right, Joe. Let's get it. Get it now. Roger? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't worry, I'll get you out of this. What are you doing? Is that you? Well, take it easy. Walk slowly. We don't want to attract you. Roger, oh, oh, a... you must get out of that unit. Take it easy. Just that casual. <laughs> MPs after him. Now, now, whatever you do, don't let him get away. We'll be there as soon as we can. Bitter, Roger. There's nothing to worry about. I will tell them everything. Hey, Ava, we've got to keep going. We've got to keep going. Yeah, nine? Watch Ava, we've got to keep going. Nine? Well, I guess you've had enough, huh? Well, I can't say that I blame you, but I've got to avoid being captured as long as I can. Oh, huh? gosh, I hate to leave you, Ava, but I know that since your uncle's with the Gestapo and everything, they won't hurt you. I've, I've got to go, Ava. Mm. Mm. But, mm. Ava, mm.
go any faster? Sir, this is a Jeep, not a Spitfire. Well, look, you're meaning for driving that one. Now get your foot on that accelerator. Germany must be looking for us. We'll never make it. This may be my last chance to strike a blow for democracy. Oh, Padre, if you could sit still for 10 minutes, the whole silly show it could be over. Now, look, there's still time for you to get away. Now, I want you to leave. Do you understand? I want you to leave. Huh? Oh, gee, I wish things could have been different, but this is war. But oh, if we don't have met another time, another place, but it's kismet. Goodbye, Eva. You're a brave girl. If we never meet again, I salute you. Roger! Roger! Now what?
headed toward the dam. If that dam blows, it'll wipe out half the city. Come on, let's go. Does that boat look lower to you? Oh, Roger, we've got to stop running. What is so important about the boat? It is sinking. Go! Go! Just a, a little bit more! Come on, go! Uh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're gonna make it! We're gonna make it! We're go go surrender now. Oh, not again. <laughs> Goodbye, Ava. Tell him I kidnapped you and forced you to help me, huh? huh? Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, Ava, I don't know how to...
Ready no more. 